it wouldn't be a one pot chef Christmas without a bit of chocolatey goodness. So today I'm going to be showing you an amazing chocolate recipe that is not only perfect for serving at your Christmas party, it's great as a homemade gift. Let's make some chocolate ganache cookies on the one pot chef. <music> Chocolate ganache cookies, these are so gorgeous and they're perfect for Christmas. Now I'm doing these in the food processor today, but please don't panic if you don't have a food processor. I'll tell you how to do it in a bowl in a few minutes. First things first, we're going to put in one and a third cups of plain flour, three quarters of a cup of icing sugar, that's powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar, depending on where you live in the world, quarter of a cup of cocoa powder, and 200 grams of butter, which I've just chopped into little cubes. Now, I'm using unsalted butter, because obviously this is a dessert, but of course, if you've got just regular butter, that'll work just as well. Now, if you don't have a food processor, the best way to do it is to put all of your dry ingredients into a large mixing bowl, and then simply drop your butter in, and using your fingers, just like this, just rub the butter into the dry ingredients until it all looks a bit like breadcrumbs, and then we'll just follow on and then just switch on your food processor until it's all blended together and looks a bit like breadcrumbs. We're just going to add in some vanilla extract or vanilla essence. I'm adding in about two teaspoons. So just, I'm not measuring, I'm just going to stick it straight in. That looks good. And then just process until the mixture comes together. As you can see, that's all come together as a nice big ball of dough. So let's take it out of the food processor. I've taken the dough out and I put it onto some plastic kitchen wrap, some cling film, and I've shaped the dough into the rough shape of a disc. And I'm just going to wrap this up in the film, like so. That looks good. And then just place this into the fridge for about half an hour to chill and firm up. 30 minutes later and our dough has firmed up and has been chilled. I put it onto some non-stick baking paper and covering it up with another sheet of non-stick baking paper. I'm just going to roll it out with a rolling pin. We want to roll it out until it's about half a centimetre or about a quarter of an inch thick. And just using a cookie cutter, we're going to cut out our cookies and then just place them onto a tray lined with some baking paper. I've made two trays of 12 cookies. Now we're going to put these into the oven, preheated oven, 180 degrees Celsius for about eight to 10 minutes or until the edges have just firmed up. Just remember to put one tray into the oven at a time. Then we'll be ready to continue. That's our cookies baked. Now leave them on the tray for about five minutes after you take them out of the oven, then transfer them onto a wire rack to cool completely. Now let's make our chocolate ganache filling. To make our chocolate ganache, I've got 100 grams of milk chocolate buttons, which I've just put into a microwave safe dish, and I'm adding in two tablespoons of thickened cream. Now, this cream is just the same kind of cream you would use if you were making whipped cream. Now we're just going to pop this into the microwave for about 30 seconds, give it a stir with a metal spoon, put it in for another 30 seconds and just keep stirring it and microwaving it until it's all melted together and smooth. That's looking gorgeous. So we're just going to leave this aside for about 5 to 10 minutes just to cool and then we'll be able to assemble our chocolate ganache cookies. First things first, we're going to take one of the cookies and using a small amount of the ganache, we're just going to place it in the centre of the cookie. Then just take a second cookie, place it on top and then just gently press down to seal. Then continue with the rest. And that's our chocolate ganache cookies assembled. Now we're ready to serve. Just to make our cookies a little bit more Christmassy, I've just sifted over a little bit of icing sugar over the top. So these look absolutely gorgeous and I'm ready to have a taste. Mm -hmm. Oh yum. <laughs> Big chocolate hit. <laughs> mm -mm. These are going to be a hit at your next Christmas party. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later.